we've, we've got a question um, online from Daryl Guppy of the Australia China Business Council. And he talks about, or poses the question rather, how do you view the emerging, uh, I guess, the emerging sentiment in the media of, you know, China must pay for COVID? Now consider the consequences if you make it a universal rule that if a country does damage to other countries, whether sort of intentionally or unintentionally, it must always compensate other countries. As you know, the 2008-2009 financial crisis began with the Lehman Brothers collapse in New York, right? Now, it did a tremendous amount of damage to many economies around the world. And did any, did any Australian then suggest that, hey, the United States did a lot of damage to the world with this 2008-2009 financial crisis. We should get compensation from the United States. Nobody did, right? So the question is, uh, and, and by the way, I, one thing I guarantee you, that there'll be many more virus attacks. And today, this time around, it sprang up in China, but it could spring up from uh, Africa, like Ebola. It could spring up from America. So are we now establishing a principle that if you accidentally, you know, and these viruses are not, not, not the result of any intentional accidents, these are just I'm not a scientist, I'm not a medical doctor, but they just happen, right? And, and what, what we should learn from this is that instead of being punitive mm. to the countries that suffered it first, we should immediately help the countries that get affected first, because if we don't help them, we'll get affected by it. Mm. Now, we are actually very fortunate that at the end of the day, the Chinese, after their initial missteps, after their initial bungles, came down so hard, so tough, that they blocked, stopped it uh, completely almost uh, in, in China. And they, they, they took some very brave decisions, like locking up a province of 60 million people two days before Chinese New Year. Now that's amazing. I, I can't imagine any American politician locking down America two days before Thanksgiving. It's almost impossible because everybody wants to go home for Thanksgiving. But that's what China did. So uh, let's, let's be very clear and clinical about what China, that China did many things wrong, but China also did many things right. And the people who say this is not just the World Health Organization. I recommend you read uh, an open letter in The Lancet, which is a very prestigious British medical journal a letter that's signed by thousands of professionals saying, hey, China did an amazing job, actually, to stop it in its tracks. So I think it's very important to be very fair and objective in our assessments of these things. Hmm.